When you are young with beach blonde California looks and somebody tells you you ought to be a star, Hollywood is usually where you set your sights. But for Ronnie Santana, the bright lights were the lights of Tokyo. Ronnie Santana. It's a name custom made for a fair-haired, blue-eyed, all-American movie star. Ever hear of him? Say you haven't? Well, they have in Japan. I had no money. I was broke. I had no place to live. I was down and out. And they said, we have this job in Japan. That job was as exotic as the locale. Ronnie was a male stripper, but it didn't last long. Today, he makes headlines as one of this country's busiest non-Asian actors. I remember the very first time I came to Japan, it was like, literally, I had gotten in a spaceship and just landed on another planet. Cut the juice on. Start. Santana speaks Japanese, but that's not the same as acting in Japanese. When I first get a script, I have to write my lines in Roman letters, and then I have to write the meaning in English below that, and then I have to write the opposite actor's lines, and then I have to write the meaning of his lines in English, then I have to memorize the lines. <laughs> <laughs> but much remains the same as movie making in America. Costumes are lavish, scripts are emotional. And just like our own action adventures, they sometimes include a damsel in distress. But while melodrama is king in Tokyo, it's a bit too much in Hollywood. Ronnie helped us act out the cultural differences. You know, Alice, I just can't take this anymore. In Japanese, I guess it would be something to the effect of, Alice, what are you doing? Ronnie Santana, a rising star in the land of the rising sun. <laughs> Ronnie says what he misses most about America is wide open space, big streets, and driving his car. In Tokyo, Ronnie Santana, movie star, rides a scooter to work. A TV series gets inside the reality of cops and courts and looks at street justice in a new episode.